First at Four, Campus Conflict. New arrests today as pro-Palestinian protesters collide with police over the war in Gaza. The concerns in Chicago, similar incidents could happen at schools in our area. A crucial day for the Chicago Bears. Why a meeting with state officials is the key to the team's hopes of a lakefront stadium. Close call how an out-of-control truck nearly slammed into an ice cream shop. And why summertime in Chicago could feel hotter than ever before. Live from Chicago, ABC 7 Eyewitness News at 4 starts right now. Students at DePaul University camp out in support of Palestinians for a second day in a row. So far, the protests here in Chicago, peaceful. But clashes turning violent at the University of Wisconsin-Madison. Four officers were hurt as they worked to clear those demonstrators. One officer was hit in the head with a skateboard. The university is saying this afternoon some 30 people were cited for refusing to move their tents with several arrests. Good afternoon. We do begin with the very latest on the protest today. Both college officials and law enforcement hoping to avoid that type of chaos here. ABC 7's Michelle Gallardo live at DePaul and Lincoln Park with more on the situation there right now. Michelle? Robin, Judy, that's right. You know, as we have seen violent clashes escalating on college campuses across the country, university officials are certainly making a concerted effort to not be the next ones on that list. Here at DePaul University, for example, officials are saying that they have scheduled Live from Chicago, ABC 7 Eyewitness News at 4.30 starts right now. Republican presidential nominee Donald Trump moving from the courtroom to the campaign trail. Trump's hush money trial was not in session today, so he is taking the opportunity to stump for votes. He spent the afternoon in Waukesha, Wisconsin, and ABC 7's political reporter Craig Wall is there. He joins us live. Craig? Rob, Wisconsin, as you know, is one of the key swing states that could have a big impact on the November election. Donald Trump winning here by less than a percentage point in 2016 and losing in similar fashion in 2020. Today, the former president was in full campaign mode. Hello, Wisconsin. 